While mild winter weather makes for ideal bird watching conditions, it's a pastime steeped in history that is still gaining in popularity. Since 1900, Victoria's annual Christmas bird count gives islanders a chance to document their feathered friends, making a sport of counting birds rather than hunting them. CTV's Aaron Glazier reports. It's one way to keep it fresh every year. You have to go out and get all those same birds all over again. Through her scope, birder Anne Nightingale spies some of the 139 species yeah. that made up Victoria's Christmas yeah. bird count on December 23rd. And groups of people go out into a defined 15 mile or 24 kilometer diameter circle and count all the birds they can every year same places so that we can look and see what's happening to the trends and the populations in those areas. More than 2,000 Christmas bird counts happen across North America and Victoria's numbers continue to grow. This year we have over 225 people who participated. That Song Sparrow is being very cooperative. As the old saying goes, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. That's why verification of sightings is taken seriously. Yes, birding is all about the honor system. Although if you find something rare, other people will come looking for it. Today it's common to see ducks and trumpeter swans cruising the waters at Viaduct Flats, but birders say we can't take that for granted. Many species are flying into problems that threaten their population. Things like windows, there's a lot of birds that get killed, pesticides, cats, and of course habitat destruction is the big one. That is why sanctuaries such as Swan Lake play such a vital role. It's known as Zone 16, one of 23 areas where birds are counted in Greater Victoria. Uh, we probably get somewhere between 135 and at the record 154 species. This year, we, in this area, we got 56 species. Some ordinary and some extraordinary. The number of pine siskins this year and, of course, the pelicans in Victoria Harbour was a highlight. But sometimes the most exciting spottings spell trouble. Nightingale says brown pelicans don't usually come this far north, and it could be a result of climate change. All the more so reason to keep a close eye on the habits of our feathered birds. friends. There's, you don't need much to get started, uh, even if you have nothing, if you have no binoculars and no books and you're interested, I'd say just go out on one of the bird walks and people will guide you and help you along. Because there's lots of time before next year's Christmas bird count to join the flock. Aaron Glazier, CTV News, Saanich.